So now let's see how we can work around with compressor inside of Audacity. So to work around with compressor, I'm going to go around and record an audio first which variates in uh, loudness. So this is my normal loud tone as you can see. And now I'm going to speak more softly right here. And then again, I'm going to speak more loudly right here. And then again, I'm going to speak uh, a little bit soft right here. And then I'm going to speak loud again. So if I were to press stop right here, this is the audio wave. So they are not mass out together. So what the compressor allows you to do is mass them out together. So let me just press the play button right here. So this is my normal loud tone as you can. So you can see that this is the dB right here. So if I were to go around, bring this out, you can see that this is what you have. So you can analyze how much loud the vo a particular voice is. So if I were to press the play button. So this is my normal loud tone as you can see. And now I'm going to, so that is what you have as you can see. So it is about uh, this loud as you can see right here. You can also see it vertically as you can see. So how, uh, on how much loud it, it gets. So this is my normal loud tone as you can see. And now I'm going, so this is important. So you, you should know like how much loud it gets. So I'm just going to go around and make it really detailed by pulling this out right here. So let me pull this. You can see that this is about minus three dB right here. I just uh, pushed it on to uh, somewhere else right here. Let me just pull this out. Uh, let me just pull this out right here, drag this out so that I can see this in detail. So this is my normal loud tone as you can see. And now I'm going. So this is uh, my now by this, what we know is that the loud part of the audio is until minus three dB while uh, the quieter part is around nine. So that is what we need to enter out in the compressor setting. So in order to balance this out, I'm going to press control A to select out all the portion of the audio. And then I'm going to go around into effect right here. And then I'm going to go to compressor. So once I do that, you see the threshold right here. So you need to uh, like select out how much uh, like threshold you want to set. So let's say I want to set the threshold to about minus, um, let's say if uh, the audio is around minus 11 dB, then the compressor should take in charge. So now you can go around and select that out. So until this is, let's say I'm going to go around set into minus nine right here. You do not really need to work around with the noise floor right here. So you can work around and increase up the noise right here as well, decrease up the noise. And the ratio is how much uh, it allow, you, you want to allow the compressor to expand uh, this in size. So I want to really expand this out really much so I can do around eight by one right here and then you can set the attack time so you can set around see how much time it takes to actually change around from low to high and similarly you can change the attack time right there so you can make it really really tight or high and you can also choose the release time for better smoothness so after setting out these settings you can press ok and what happens is that it compresses everything out but this doesn't look right right here it just seems like it increases out the volume so i'm going to press ctrl z right here and then i'm going to go around into effect now and then i'm going to go to compressor i can change around the threshold right here and then you can see that the effect changes out a bit i'm going to press ctrl z let's go around into Compressor again, let's change around the minus dB to around minus 30 dB right here. You can see that it balances it out even more right here as you can see. So let me just go around, change the compressor uh, until minus 40 dB and that should do it. So you can see that the audio is much more balanced now. So similarly, you can go around, change around the compressor settings right here, change that around to make it much more smoother. Press OK and you can see that it is smoother. So I can go around onto the beginning and press the play uh, button by hold, pressing the space bar. So this is my normal loud tone as you can see. And now I'm going to speak more softly. And now the volume level, level as you can hear is much more balanced out. And that is how you can work around with the compressor option inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.